What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Chucky Season 3 in this video here again today. We'll be mostly talking about the fallout of what was cut in last night's episode, Jennifer's Body, related to Gigi. Since I did tell you guys you would get two references to Gigi, not just one like you got during the end sequence in the trial with Nika, which did happen. But there was another reference that unfortunately got cut and I will give some context on that for those of you who do not follow me on Twitter but listen to my videos and know that I did mention that Chucky's plan for Gigi would be revealed in the season which it got cut and I'll again give context to that I'll also talk about Nika briefly I'll talk about Tiffany and what you can expect for Tiffany next week and I'll talk about Chucky's some, some more about Chucky and what's going on there with his recent motive being revealed and I'll talk about some of the deaths you can prepare yourselves for now Gigi was intended to be on the people to kill list last night when Caroline and Chucky were being driven in the cab by Keenan Gigi was intended to be on that people to kill list but their name got removed in the final cut as you guys saw last night that's what Chucky's plan was to be revealed for related to Gigi to kill them and while we're on the topic of Gigi, as cute as that scene with Caroline and Chucky might have appeared to be, it's also shady since Chucky has a child and his remarks to Caroline make me think he's disappointed in his own kid. More so, we just know he's trying to manipulate Caroline even further. So it's not really too shocking, but just some some random thought I wanted to share. That was like one of the scummiest thing I've seen from Chucky in the show today, that shade towards Gigi. Now, why was Gigi removed? I don't know why, but I'm curious if it's tied to Lachlan not being able to commit or be available to whatever storyline plans they have in place for part two of season three, if at all. I mean, Lachlan's return to the role would likely be in flashback capacity because Glenn and Glinda merged once more and we got Billy back. So I'd expect Lachlan to appear in flashback form while Tiffany either looks back on her life, raising Glenn and Glinda, giving Lachlan an opportunity to step back into both roles, or Tiffany could imagine a life with Glenn and Glinda still separated, thus allowing Lachlan to appear in that type of imagination in Tiffany's head. It be a very limited capacity because, again, they creatively decided to put the two siblings back together again. Granted, like I mentioned, Billy is also the Gigi star as well, not just Lachlan. So it could be an issue on Billy's end, and perhaps Billy couldn't commit to something that they had planned for Gigi in part two. And because so far Billy can't, Billy isn't available, Gigi's name got cut from the list of people to kill. We'll just have to wait and see because Gigi was indeed cut from the people to kill list. That was the initial reference that you were going to get last night, but it got cut. Now, Nika. Nika, she does not appear in next week's episode. Now, again, I will say this. Granted that Gigi's name ended up being removed from the list of people to kill. Perhaps they could add a scene in with Nika. That's always a possibility, but I doubt it. From when I saw the episode, Nika did not appear in next week's episode. But Tiffany... And those prison shenanigans will be on display in full effect for everyone to see what I was talking about in my review. And yes, she seems to have received a crate of voodoo toys. I'm not going to say what she does with those toys, but I'm sure some of you, those of you who are dissecting it and have seen the first film numerous times, know exactly what Tiffany will be up to with those voodoo dolls. There was supposed to be a Halloween ends clip in next week's episode during a Tiffany scene as well, but apparently that's been replaced with a Frankenstein movie instead, which I guess is their attempt to nod at Bride of Chucky even further. The likely reason that was cut is because of the new rights Miramax just obtained to the Halloween series and Universal's deal is, is going to be over as a result of that and no longer can show footage from Halloween in separate Universal projects like Chucky, but whatever. Now, as for the deaths, I won't say there are no major ones because some folks do get attached quicker than others to characters. But yes, two people will die next week. Now, if you listen to my other news videos, you know who is safe. But I also know that some of you have haven't caught on to the fact that I do. Yes, lie only when it's <laughs> worth lying about. And this isn't something worth lying about. So if you want to know again who is safe from next week, Go revisit last week's news video to hear which characters are safe. As for Chucky, one of the ended on the man himself, you will see more of this aging and it is completely disgusting. From what I saw, it was completely disgusting. Now, I don't know if that was actually finalized, but this man, he's he's looking rough. <laughs> so you guys will see more of this aging process sped up for Chucky and 
Yes, I would say that the season as of now for part one does end on a cliffhanger of sorts. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.